Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPT Vietnam. Right in my hands is The World After the Fall, Volume 2. It is original stories by Sing and Song, adapted by S. Cyan, translation webtoon, lettering Phil Christie. Uh, so this is an interesting, interesting series. I remember reading the first volume, generally enjoying it, um, thought it was, you know, good, and really kind of, I think, hooked me at the end, where, you know, it really kind of set things up, making the first volume that focus. Like, it's not, wasn't a, you know, dungeon run or whatever, it really was the, like, hey, no, now the real story begins. So it's this guy, about this guy named Jay Wan, who is now in the vast realm of chaos, and seems like he wants to kind of, like, destroy things, um, and is on a mission, and it's kind of hard to describe, really difficult to describe. So it's like a fantasy world, and from what I can pick up, he can, like, see the truth of the world. It looks like kind of a normal fantasy story, but really it, there's something underlying and underneath all that fantasy story. Um, there's humans, and then there's these other things, and, and he can see these other things. And he's on a mission, and really this volume is more kind of like, I think, a really an introduction to the chaos world, where the first volume is the setup and kind of him leveling up. This is now the, like, all right, he's in the world, let's get the story going, but we really need to set everything up. And that takes place over, like, ten chapters, I think. It's quite a while. Um, and it's, it's good, sorry, so it's stages 11 through 20 is the, is the chapters covered in this, um, and it's, it's good, like, it's, it's decent, I, I would say it feels like there's a lot of, you know, going through towers and going on missions and leveling up webtoon, uh, collections that are going on, uh, three that I can think of that are very similar to this, I would take the other two over than this, this is, this is, I think, a distant third for me, but it's still entertaining, there's still something there, um, I think part of part of my not totally digging it is it dances around what's going on and, and doesn't quite lay out exactly what's going on uh, clearly. So you're guessing a lot, and I'm pretty sure I understand what's going on, but at the same time, it'd be nice for it just to be freaking laid out. Like, what the hell is going on? And the visuals, while beautiful at times, are also aren't quite clear as to exactly what's going on. So it's a bit mixed in that way, but like it's this interesting fantasy, walking through hell, fighting, not fighting sort of thing with, you know, your usual, hey, we have to, we have to power up. Um, you know, the one, I think the one issue is that, you know, you've got a, a hero who, like, really has no issues taking people on. There doesn't seem to feel like much of a challenge at all, uh, which kind of gets a little boring at there, but at times, but, like, the art is, is pretty cool. Um... You know, as I said, it would be nice for him to actually have a bit of a, a challenge, but it doesn't seem to be happening, at least in this value, uh, volume. Uh, so we'll see, hopefully, going forward. It's just, you know, feels a little overpowered in some ways. Uh, but the characters are interesting. Like, what we are introduced to and see is interesting. Um, you know, I, I, I do dig the art. I think there's, there's something kind of cool about the, the style and the look. Very, like, anime to it. Um, so overall, like, it, it's not bad. It's, it's an interesting one is that I almost feel like I need to read the first and second volume together to, like, really kind of piece it all together. It's not one, I, th I think it's one that's kind of hurt with such a gap in between the, the volume releases. I, I don't even remember when the first volume was released. So, um, not bad, but, you know, I'm going to continue reading it, but there's, there's other things I prefer. It's, I'm not quite as, like, pumped about it as, as other series. Um, still, it's interesting. It should be out, uh, I believe, April 19th. You can go get it. We got a link beneath this video. Uh, put in your zip code, and it'll tell you if a comic store is near you. No store, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site, so thank you for that. I want to thank uh, Yen Press. I want to thank Izzy Press for hooking us up with the review copy, and of course, thank you all for watching. If you're into comics, check us out every day, or manga, or graphic novels, check us out every day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, all at Graphic Policy. Keep it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading that manga, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. 
you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.